Hey everyone, so today we'll be working on uh, removing the, the tack on the Taurus. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. You're going to need a prying tool. Uh, you're also going to need a 516 or 7 millimeter uh, socket uh, in a lot of patients. Um, you can clean the, the part we're trying to clean um, with a regular Windex or window cleaner. Um, but be careful when you're putting it back, like I was saying, the instructions that are coming up. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Let's go. All right, so we've taken most of it already apart. I just wanted to show you because um, it was a little tedious and I forgot to do the video. So you use your prying tool to pry this piece out. Now, what you have to remember is it's not going to come out directly because that sensor right there, um, this sensor is connected uh, to that piece so you have to get the sensor from the bottom and squeeze it squeeze the sensor and it's gonna come out um, of here as you can see so it goes into those two holes over there so you take this piece out you have a I think it's a 516 screw right here that holds the dash the, the upper cover here you have one on this side and on this side you just have one down here uh, right there so it's gonna you take that out it goes right there you take that out and you pry this piece out as well you can or cannot disconnect the connectors um, up there for the switch it, it's up to you um, but when those are out I'll, I'll put my screw. So I had to do a little diversion here to kind of show you exactly what I meant. So this is the, the type of look that you have on uh, 2013 and up. And this is the look that you have on 2010 to 2012. Now, like I said, this one was an SHO show. That's why you have the little carbon looking uh, texture thing going on there. And this was an interceptor. So pretty much, like I said, when you're using your prying tool to get it out, you have two tabs here that are pretty you know they're sticking there pretty tight so you use your prying tool to kind of uh, get those two out um, you have two more on the side here as you can see there's one here there's one there and you have two more on this side um, for a total of six now don't forget to take that screw out like I mentioned as well and you should be able to take it out as you can see this is just a plastic cover that lays uh, on top of the steering wheel column and it's not attached or anything like that now if you have a 2013 and up it's pretty much the same thing but you still have your screw here which sits in a deeper hole uh, it's still the same 7 millimeter screw it sits in a deeper hole on the plastic which we have plastic is kind of like a full leather or a fake leather uh, type of thing here for this piece uh, that sits on the column you have to go ahead and pry it out as you can see it's kind of you know you have some little tabs there that you have to use your prying tool to kind of take off the top of the steering column um, you also have two of those um, connectors here on the side you still have two on top and you have two on the other side so you do have six as well uh, but the only difference is just to get this out don't forget to kind of pry it out and uh, and you should be golden so I'm gonna go back to showing you guys what we're doing on the on the 2010 show push it down and then push it out push it down and then push it out basically when you do that as you can see it's poking out and uh, when you do that, you can, you got to be very careful. Otherwise, you're going to break the tab. Like you see, I broke one here. Um, and I broke one here. And I'm going to show you again. Because they're pretty sensitive. Now, either way, it doesn't matter to me. But it's a press and pull. The reason why it doesn't matter is because I have another cover right here. That I'm going to use that has all the tabs. So it it's doesn't bother me really um, that those are broken. So pretty much that's what you do when you take that off. Go ahead and make sure you clean the, the inside of the plastic um, like you want it to be. Um, let it dry or whatnot and then you put it back on there. It doesn't really matter 
if the battery is disconnected or not. Some people recommend taking the battery off, but it doesn't really matter. That is the little module I was talking about for the 2010. The connector goes right there. Uh, for the newer models, you have one that's that's sitting on it, but instead of being right there, the module is attached to the side of the tack. So be careful with that. Um, but that's pretty much. When you're putting it back, make sure you sit it back on top of this little pins there because that's what the hole is for, of course. But make sure you sit it on there. And when you have it in that position, it should stick. But you know for a fact that you have it in the right position because you cannot go ahead and put on your screws. Um, when you're putting back the tack, I'll put it as an angle coming this way first. So I'll, I'll connect it, but then I'll go that way and then go back. Uh, because you have this piece that pokes out a little bit and it's going to give you a little headache if you're trying to scratch that off um, But that's pretty much it you put your bolts back and you do the same process in reverse and you should be good to go